Hey guys, welcome to this long overdue video, I guess. I don't know. But in today's video, we are unboxing a 15 inch MacBook Pro non retina. It is the mid 2012 version. So this one is like the very last non retina 15 inch MacBook Pro that you could buy brand new from Apple. Uh, there, I think alongside it, yeah, they did. The uh, 13 inch also was available at the time as well. But this one is just the base model that we're unboxing today. It is the 2.3 gigahertz i7. It's an Ivy Bridge quad core uh, chip. Uh, the particular one that I got has a, it still has a 500 gig hard drive and it still has its, I believe, original four gigs of RAM. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this computer and I will show you what it's all about. Alrighty, so we have the the box right here, uh, it just got here today. So we're going to see what it's all about. I've never owned one of these specifically. I know on my channel that I have a video of a, a late 2008 MacBook Pro 15 inch. And in that one, uh, I've that was the first introduction of the aluminum design for the MacBook Pros. But this one is obviously a much newer one than that one, and I don't have that one anymore, unfortunately. But so here it is, wrapped in bubble wrap, which is good to see. Usually, you want to see that in the back. Yeah, bubble wrap, and oh, oh my, that charger is beat up. But it, it actually came with the original MagSafe ch charger. This is not the one from that it would have came with new, actually, because this is the older design, not the new one. But that's fine. I don't really need this charger. Uh, but it's always nice to have. That one is pretty fairly beat up. So we have this, I don't know what this is, some sort of air tube. I've never seen this before. It's definitely interesting. I mean, this, this packaging is different. All right, so here we go. Here's the laptop. Uh, we got a nice gouge in the aluminum display there. That sucks. I'm hoping that some of the, it looks like a lot of this is gonna come off, but unfortunately that will not. Uh, so over here, you know, you got your DVD. I think they call it Super Drive. Kensington lock, the ventilation on the back, which doesn't seem to, oh, we got a little chip in the thing there, unfortunately. Uh, over here is the I.O., the main I.O. Um, you've got your MagSafe, the Ethernet, FireEye 800, Thunderbolt, U2, USB 2.0s, SD card slot, audio in and headphone out, battery indicator, which we have a half of charge. This is your uh, light indication if the machine is sleeping or not. you got your IR uh, indicator sensor thing. I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> Um, on the back, I got some sticker that I'll have to remove. Uh, in the pictures, the bottom case didn't look too great. And yeah, you can kind of see like it's got scratching going on here, up here. It's, it's all over the place. Open this up. We got a piece of paper. Assuming this is just some sort of receipt. All right, so uh, as you can see with the reflection of the light, the keyboard has definitely been heavily used. Um, and everything else. I mean, the screen seems to be, I th yeah, it looks like the screen is good. So that's nice. Now, let's see if it boots. So this still has its original everything, like hard drive and RAM, I believe, because it's four gigabytes of RAM and it still has its, it still has a hard drive. I think it's 500 gigabytes. It still has everything that I guess it would have came with, except for the charger, of course, and the original box. That would have been nice to have both of those, but it's whatever. All right, we have finally loaded into the system, the startup. Actually, I need to make sure not to make it too bright, but uh, no, I guess I could do that. Okay, so I'll turn the brightness down just a little bit, but we will go through the installation. I don't I think this has the the latest installment of Mac OS that the system can run. Okay. Finally, after taking forever to connect to the network, we can keep going with the installation. Setup, I mean. All right, so express setup, yeah, I'll just kind of 
let it do its thing. Um, well, I guess I'll, okay. Here soon it will magically appear to the desktop. <laughs> Once it feels like it really, there we go. It's still doing its thing. The joys of having an older hard drive is uh, very fun. Takes a while. The plans for the machine while on the subject of the hard drive. I have already bought an OWC 500 gig SSD for this machine and uh, I believe I've also either ordered 16 or 8 gigs of RAM. Whichever one this one can support. But I believe we should have, you know, this is the 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i7. This is a, I think the Ivory Bridge generation. Um, I think this is also quad core. I could be wrong on that. Uh, I don't remember, but yes, it does. It still has the same RAM. Uh, and it does have the 500 gig hard drive. So yeah. And then I thought these would, I guess we can go to system report to see more information about this, this machine. So yes, it is the MacBook Pro 9.1 or 9 comma one. Sorry. Uh, and it has, yeah, okay, so, um, I'm curious about the battery real quick. It has 150 cycle counts. That's pretty low. Uh, whether or not it's the original battery, I don't know. Um, there might be a way I can tell on the system. It also has the NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M. I don't really know how good that card is or that GPU is, but, yeah. But yes, this is the mid-2012 15-inch MacBook Pro non-retina. I believe this is the last non-retina MacBook Pro you could purchase at the time before they completely killed it. Uh, I think this can go higher than High Sierra, but I, uh, again, I don't really fully know. Um, I can't remember for sure. But yes, this is the new MacBook Pro that I have purchased. Uh, like I said, I have alongside, this is the 17 inch late 2011 model, but this one is the base model. I think this one is also the base model of the mid 2012s. I could be wrong on that as well. Uh, I can't remember if it's the 2.3 or if there's something below the 2.3 i7 of this generation. Uh, there could be, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, the plan is to get the new heart, the SSD in there, uh, and then put as much RAM as it can support into it. Uh, both those things should be here tomorrow, so there will be, probably be a video on that. And yeah, so without further ado, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. The there will be some more content to come for these Macs when they start showing up and stuff. The the MacBook will be more interesting and. I'd say a more fun project to do than what this one is. So yeah. All right, so it is the next day. I've just kind of reviewed the footage just to see what was going on and get it all edited up. And yeah, so in conclusion, yes, it is the base model 2012 or mid 2012 non-retina 15 inch. Um, I knew in the video that it was, it's just, I was kind of unsure. I didn't want to sit there and say yes, but I also didn't want to sit there and say it confidently at the same time. But yes, it is the base model. The 2.3 is the base model. There's, I think, the 2.5 or 6 and 2.7 or something like that. There's two different tiers. Uh, I've also opened the machine up because I was worried about running it because of dust buildup. And sure enough, there was definitely dust buildup. There's a lot of dust bunnies built up in the more, you know, vital areas. The heat, well, the uh, ventilation where the fans are was very clogged up same with the fans they were clogged up i had to take the fans out brush them out with a brush like tiny brushes and uh blow them out with some compressed air same with the ventilation for the fans and all that and it's it's since been cleaned uh i've also looked at the hard drive ram and battery that i wasn't sure if they were original the only thing that was that seems to be replaced is the hard drive the hard drive is a western digital hard drive that was manufactured in 2014 it was the year that it said, so somewhere about two years after it was purchased new, the original hard drive must have failed or something. Uh, the RAM 
seems to match up with, at the time, what Apple was putting in there and in their laptops. So the RAM seems to be original. Same with the battery. It still has its warranty sticker. It doesn't seem to be broken, none of that. And it also has a Apple branded battery. So the battery is original, so to speak. Uh, I, it could have been replaced with an original battery, like Apple Care warranted or something, but I don't think so. So hard to really tell on that. I think there's a way you can tell on the software, but I would have to look that up again. Uh, the machine is now running Mac OS Catalina and it's not running uh, High Sierra anymore, but Catalina is the highest it can support. It's the last one it can support and then after that it's it's out of support. Uh, right now it runs pretty sluggish because the hard drive and the RAM. So once I get my SSD and 16 gigs of RAM, it'll run so much better. It'll be probably a really speedy machine for what it is. I mean, it's a 10 year old laptop and throwing that stuff into it. It's definitely going to put more life into it than what it has currently going for it. Uh, but yeah, overall, it seems to be a pretty good purchase. So whenever the SSD and the RAM shows up, we will make a video on that and it'll be nice to see the performance differences from where it is right now. But without further ado guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.